Kirlian photography is a fascinating imaging technique that captures glowing, colorful images of objects when they are exposed to high voltage electrical currents. This process was discovered in the 1930s by Simeon and Valentina Kirlian, who observed that when objects are placed on photographic film and exposed to an electrical field, they produce a visible corona discharge. This glow has often been interpreted as an aura or energy field surrounding the object, but is it really capturing a mystical energy or is there a scientific explanation behind it? In reality, the phenomenon behind Curlian photography is well understood by scientists. The glowing effect is primarily due to electrical discharges that occur at the edges of an object, a process known as corona discharge. Factors like moisture, pressure, and even the object's conductivity can influence the images produced. For example, a wet leaf might show more pronounced glow compared to a dry one because the moisture enhances the electrical discharge. Can you think of other everyday situations where moisture changes how something behaves electrically? While some enthusiasts claim that Curlian photography reveals a life energy or spiritual aura, the scientific community largely considers these interpretations to be a case of pseudoscience. The images are intriguing and can appear mysterious, but they are the result of physical processes, not metaphysical energies. Many experiments have demonstrated that altering environmental conditions like humidity or voltage can change the appearance of the glow, which suggests that these images are influenced by external factors rather than an inherent life force. For example, if you were to photograph a plant under different conditions, you might notice that the intensity and color of the glow vary with the plant's moisture level and the surrounding atmosphere. This demonstrates that the phenomenon is rooted in measurable physical properties. Would you be interested in exploring how small changes in environment can drastically alter an electrical discharge? In summary, Killian photography is an excellent tool for visualizing the effects of high voltage electrical discharges and is widely used to study corona effects. While the images it produces are visually captivating and have sparked much interest and even speculation about mystical auras, they are explained by well-known scientific principles. It's a clear example of how a technique can be both scientifically valuable and culturally intriguing, even when its more fantastical interpretations lack empirical support. What do you think about the balance between scientific explanation and the allure of the mysterious when it comes to techniques like Curlian photography? Curlian photography is a technique that uses high voltage, low current electrical discharges to capture images of objects and living tissues. The resulting photographs often show a glowing outline or aura surrounding the subject. Researchers initially observed these images and speculated that they might reveal some form of life energy. However, mainstream science explains these phenomena as a result of natural electrical discharges rather than a mystical energy field. A common Kirlian photograph of a leaf shows a vivid glow around its edges, which some claim represents its life force. It's like taking a long exposure photograph of a moving car's headlights at night. The glowing trails are a product of the camera's interaction with light and movement, not a hidden magical force. The glowing effects in Kirlian images are primarily caused by corona discharges, ionization of the air around an object when exposed to a strong electric field. This ionization creates visible light, which is captured by the photographic process. Variations in moisture, pressure, and the material's conductivity influence the intensity and pattern of the glow. Thus, what appears to be an aura is actually a physical phenomenon that can be explained through conventional physics. When a moist fingertip is placed on a Curlian plate, the resulting image shows a bright, detailed glow due to the higher conductivity of the moist skin. Imagine using a sparkler on a dark night. The sparks and light trails are produced by chemical reactions and physics, not by an invisible spirit. Some proponents of Kelian photography argue that the glowing aura represents the bioenergy or life force of a living object. 
They suggest that changes in the aura's appearance could reflect emotional or health states. However, scientific investigations reveal that variations in the aura are closely tied to environmental conditions and the physical properties of the object. Current evidence indicates that the images are a product of electrical and chemical processes, not an external metaphysical energy field. When the humidity level changes, the Kirlian image of a flower might show a more diffuse or concentrated glow, reflecting moisture levels rather than any intrinsic life force. It's like watching steam rise from a hot cup of coffee. The appearance of the steam changes with temperature and humidity, not because of a mystical aura. Researchers have conducted controlled experiments to test whether Kirlian photography can reliably indicate changes in the supposed energy aura. They vary parameters like voltage, pressure, and humidity to see how these affect the images. The experiments consistently show that the variations in the glow are directly linked to measurable physical factors. These findings support the conclusion that Kirlian photography images are reproducible through standard scientific principles rather than revealing an unknown energy field. In a lab setting, altering the pressure between the object and the photographic plate changes the glow's intensity, proving that physical contact conditions are the cause. It's like adjusting the brightness on a computer screen. The change is due to the settings you control, not because the screen is reflecting a hidden force. Moisture and electrical conductivity play key roles in determining the appearance of Kirlian images. Higher moisture levels in living tissues, for example, can lead to more pronounced corona discharges. This is why organic subjects like leaves or human fingertips often display more vibrant and detailed outlines. Researchers have shown that by controlling the moisture content, the resulting images can be consistently altered indicating a purely physical basis for the glow. A dry leaf produces a dimmer, curly in image compared to a freshly watered one, illustrating the impact of moisture on electrical discharge. It's similar to how a wet sidewalk becomes more reflective and glistening under streetlights compared to a dry one. The difference is due to water's effect on light, not because of a supernatural quality. The debate surrounding Kirlian photography centers on whether the captured aura is a genuine bioenergy field or simply an artifact of electrical discharge. While some claim it reveals subtle life energies, rigorous scientific research has yet to confirm any such non-physical phenomenon. Critics argue that the technique is often misrepresented as evidence for alternative medicine or paranormal energy leading to pseudoscientific. Most experts agree that while Kirlian photography is a valid method to study electrical phenomena, its claims about capturing mystical energies are not supported by empirical data. Despite claims that Kirlian images can diagnose health issues, controlled studies have shown that factors like skin moisture, pressure, and electrode design fully account for the observed patterns. It's like claiming that a camera filter makes someone look younger. While the image may appear enhanced, the effect is entirely due to known technological processes, not actual rejuvenation. Some alternative medicine practitioners have used Killian photography to assess the energy or health of living organisms, suggesting that variations in the glow indicate changes in vitality. These applications, however, remain controversial because they lack a robust scientific foundation and reproducibility. Although interesting as a visualization tool, the method does not provide reliable diagnostic information. The scientific community urges caution in using Kirlian images as evidence of a holistic health assessment. A practitioner might claim that a patient's aura appears diminished in a Kirlian photo, suggesting low vitality, even though such changes can be easily attributed to ambient conditions it's akin to using a mood ring. The color changes are fascinating to watch, but they aren't a definitive measure of your emotional state. Advances in imaging technology have improved the resolution and clarity of Kirlian photography, allowing for more detailed studies of electrical discharges. Modern techniques can better isolate the effects of variables such as voltage, pressure, and ambient temperature, 
These technological developments have enhanced our understanding of corona discharge phenomena. They also underscore that the images produced are a result of measurable physical interactions rather than an unexplained energy field. Researchers now use digital sensors and software analysis to quantify the intensity of the glow, correlating it with specific physical parameters like humidity levels. It's like upgrading from an old film camera to a high definition digital camera. The improved clarity reveals more details about the subject, but the fundamental subject remains the same. Future studies aim to refine Kirlian photography techniques to better understand the complex interactions between electrical discharges and biological materials. Ongoing research explores how controlled variations in experimental conditions can lead to new insights into material properties and physiological states. This scientific inquiry continues to separate the measurable physical phenomena from claims of mystical energy. As technology and methodology improve, researchers hope to unlock further applications of this imaging technique in both science and technology. Upcoming experiments are investigating whether Killian imaging can provide useful data about stress responses in plant tissues by correlating glow intensity with environmental stress factors. It's similar to how improvements in satellite imagery have provided new insights into weather patterns. Enhanced tools allow us to observe and understand phenomena more deeply without invoking unproven mystical explanations.